Hello friends, this video on cell part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about the structure, function and all the details about cells, let us quickly uh, see a comparison between the plant cells and the animal cells. So we have discussed all these points but just to summarize, so when you look at a plant cell, it is generally larger in size when compared to animal cell. I mean the overall cell itself is also large in plants. In plant cells, cell wall is present which gives its additional rigidity. So the cell wall is present outside the cell membrane. In animal cell, there is no cell wall, only one cell membrane is present. In plant cells, vacuoles are big and lesser in number, so you do not have many vacuoles in a plant cell. But whatever vacuoles are present, they are quite big in size. But in animal cells, the vacuoles are small sized, but they are many in number. In fact, it is not necessary that all animal cells be vacuoles. So vacuoles are something which is optional for animal cells. Plastids are present in plant cell and in one of the prominent plastid is chloroplast which imparts green color to the leaves of plants and also helps in photosynthesis. In animal cells, plastids are absent. So there is just one exception and that is euglena. Euglena is a protozoa. It, it is an animal but it has plastid. So it is the only exception. In plant cell, Golgi apparatus are called dictyosomes and they are distributed throughout the cell. But in animal cell, it is just one apparatus or it is just one network which is present and it is called Golgi apparatus. So it is like one single prominent structure called Golgi apparatus in animal cell. So these are some of the uh, prominent differences between a plant cell and animal cell. So let us quickly look at a plant cell and animal cell. So because that gives you a better idea. So here we can see the vacuoles which are quite big here. But in this case in animal cell the vacuoles are not at all prominent. In fact they might not even have a vacuole. So that was one thing. Secondly here we have a cell wall. So this cell wall is present in a plant cell. But there is no cell wall in an animal cell. So that is another thing. Here we have the plastids. So you see these green colored structure, but here you do not have any plastid. If you talk about the Golgi apparatus, so here you have these Golgi vesicles, which are like these tiny particles, which are smaller in size, but distributed throughout. But in animal cell, it is not like that. In animal cell, you just have one Golgi apparatus, which is just one complex structure, as you can see here. So that is how it is in animal cell. So that's how we can distinguish between a plant cell and an animal cell. But other than this, if you talk about any other living organism, all those organisms cell will have the same cell organelles. So if I say that an animal cell is going to have uh, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus and their functions and structure, everything will remain the same. In case of any animal, whether I talk about a human being or I talk about a monkey or I talk about an elephant. So all the animals will have similar cell organelles. So inside each cell, the structure is going to be the exact, it is going to be exactly the same. So that's how we will conclude this lesson on cell. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.